Coon hunting is a sport that brings people from all over the country to Orangeburg County every year for its annual Grand American. Ray Conrad has been a vendor there for 30 years and has seen the sport evolve. I coon hunt, my dad coon hunting, my granddad before him coon hunting. Um, almost every friend that I have is a a coon hunter of some type. He says part of this evolution has been seen in the way people coon hunt. The guy started out hunting with carbide lights, kind of like, you know, you light it, you put stuff in it, you light it, and it's just a flame with a mirror behind it that projected. Then they went to um, a light that was called a wheat light that was used in the coal mines a lot. Conrad sells lighted hats for hunters to use when they're trying to keep their dogs in sight while seeking out the raccoons at night. He says new equipment also makes it easier to keep track of your dogs while they're hunting. Now we all use Garmin's, which are tracking, GPS tracking devices. So we know within just a few feet of where that dog is all the time so people never lose their dog anymore. As for the future of the sport. I, I, I don't see it any time in the very near future going away. You know, I would think that it would continue to flourish. For Street Squad Orangeburg, Nigel Hood, News 19 WLTX.